Disney pin collecting can be an extremely expensive hobby. I've made a video talking before about why Disney pins are so expensive, and then I've also had a video for how to collect Disney pins on a budget and not totally break the bank. But for today's video, I thought it would be kind of fun to look at and see what are the current most expensive Disney pins. With this, what I decided to do was look at the highest priced Disney pins that have sold over about the past couple of months. So this isn't you know, fully inclusive in terms of value. What are the most valuable pins? This is what are the most expensive Disney pins currently on the market that have sold. These are all items that have sold on eBay. And on eBay, you can search through sold listings and sort from highest to lowest price, but a lot of higher end pins will sell at best offers and eBay won't tell you what that best offer price was. So I went on the website Watch Count, which will tell you the actual best offer price an item sold for. I searched through the Disney pin sold listings and then sorted from highest to lowest. Today, I'm only going to talk about and share the pins that sold for $700 and above because that was about 19 pins and not including duplicate items. And these are only single pins. So I initially was thinking, well, maybe I'll start with, you know, all the pins that have sold for $500 and above, but that was actually quite a lot of pins. So these pins that are selling for the $700 and above currently on eBay are the upper echelon of the most expensive Disney pins that you will find. The type of pins that I predicted would be on this list are pretty much the type of pins that will appear. So keep an eye out for WDI profiles some older Disney Studio Store Hollywood or Disney Soda Fountain pins, and then Disney Auctions pins. Disney Auction pins are kind of the oldest type of low limited edition pins, and they are pins that over time have hold their value, and they really are among the most expensive pins that you'll see. So I'm just gonna start from what has sold at 700 and then just work my way up until I get to the current most expensive pin. So selling for $705 was a Vanellope WDI Walt Disney Imagineering profile pin. As I alluded, you'll find quite a number of WDI profile pins on this list of most expensive pins. These pins have come out in the past year or two and they have just kind of taken the pin trading community by storm as just among the most highly desired pins. I was really surprised to see a Vanellope's pin sell for this much because, you know, Vanellope's kind of a cool character, but I didn't know she was that highly desired. And I did see other Vanellope pins that were in the range of maybe about $100 less than this that also sold. So I was actually quite surprised to see a Vanellope pin selling for this much money. Next, going for $750 is a Tangled Marquee pin from the Disney Soda Fountain. So if you see a pin that says DSF, that is the former name of the Disney Studio Store Hollywood, and a lot of the marquee pins for the El Capitan Theater are very popular and very expensive, with the Tangled pin being among the most expensive marquee pins. This pin is a limited edition of 300 and probably a top grail among a lot of Tangled collectors. Next, selling for $775 is a type of pin that you might not see too often, and that is a cast member pin. And not just a cast member pin, like a, you know, a WDI pin that only cast members can buy, but rather a cast member service pin. This was a pin that was given it to opening day cast members of Walt Disney World from 1971 after 25 years of service. I'm pretty sure these type of cast member service pins do not actually fall under the umbrella of technical trading pins, but I do know some members in the community kind of exclusively collect these super, super rare exclusive cast member service pins, since obviously ones like these would be very difficult to obtain and people are paying quite a lot for it. Then we have selling for $799.99 is our first Disney auctions pin. And this one features Mickey Mouse as Steamboat Willie. This pin is a limited edition of only 100. And there are a lot of Disney auction pins that are only LE100, so a lot of them are very, very rare. Also selling for $799.99 is the Little Mermaid Beloved Tales pin from the Disney Soda Fountain slash Disney Studio Store Hollywood. The Beloved Tales is a series of pins from DSSH, which kind of depicts a classic scene from 
most of all of the Disney and Pixar movies, and so the two most highly sought after and valued pins from the studio store really are the very high-end marquees and then also the Beloved Tales. This Little Mermaid Beloved Tale, I believe, is an LE300. We're now moving on to $800 sold, and here we have another WDI profile. This is a Megara from Hercules. Again, I was quite surprised to see a Megara pin sell for this much because again, she doesn't strike me as like a super, super popular Disney character, but it just seems like these profiles are going for so much money. This profile, like all the others, is an Ellie of 250. We're continuing along on the profile train. Selling for $850 is the Rapunzel profile. Now, Rapunzel, I can see why she's this much because she is one of the very top, most popular princesses. Extremely highly sought after and people are clearly paying a lot of money for this pin. Selling for $860, we have another Beloved Tales pin and that is the Beauty and the Beast pin. The Beauty and the Beast Beloved Tales pin has consistently been among the top most expensive Disney pins out there. Its value for a very long time has held pretty steady at about $1,000. You'll notice that this has sold for $860 because it is marked as very lately flawed. So the title indicates that there is a very small flaw on Belle, so the price goes down a little bit, but still extremely expensive if you want to get a beloved tale of Beauty and the Beast. Here at $900, we have a Lion King Disney Auctions pin. This one is another Ellie of 1000 and it features Rafiki, Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. Probably a top grail Lion King pin and I imagine Lion King is especially quite popular again now due to the quote unquote live action movie coming out soon. Also selling for $900 is another Disney auctions pin, and this features Snow White riding on a carousel horse. So this pin design is another LE of 100 pin, but this is a little special in that it's technically an LE of only four because this is a special proof pin. So with some of these Disney auctions pin, there are very low, you know, LE of only a few either kind of variants or proofs. So very exclusive, and I know this is a quite valuable series with these princesses on carousel horses. I have these kind of slightly out of order because this one here is $899.99, but $900 for all intents and purposes. And guess what? We have another WDI profile pin with Maleficent. If you've noticed until now, we've had only the heroines for the most expensive WDI profiles, but now we have a villain. And I'd say Maleficent definitely does seem to be currently the most popular of all the Disney villains. Selling for even more though, we have another heroine WDI pin, and that is the Belle profile. Selling for $925.80 cents quite a specific price. Belle again is one of the absolute top tier princesses. Any kind of rare pin of hers is going to be incredibly expensive and this now is getting close to like a thousand dollars but I do think that this is an exceptionally beautiful pin of Belle. I love that she's in her blue dress but at this price definitely a pin I'll never own. Now we've officially reached the one thousand dollar sold for mark and we have this Tinkerbell Disney auctions pin. This again is another LE of 100 Disney auctions pin and the title of this one even says highly sought after pin. I'm not really a person super big into Tinkerbell, but I do have to say that this is a beautiful looking pin. Super high quality, highly expensive Disney auctions pin. We have another Disney auctions pin that sold for $1,000 and that is the blue centerette from Fantasia. So this is similar to that Snow White carousel pin and that this pin is technically an LE of four since this is a specific prototype version. And so those very, very low limited edition prototypes really do hold their value over time. So far, it's only been heroines and one villain WDI profile, but now selling for $1,255 is the Sorcerer Mickey WDI profile pin. There were a whole series of Mickey Mouse profiles through the years that were released at the Destination D event. So the public attendees of this event were actually able to purchase these WDI pins as opposed to just cast members. And that pin from that Mickey set that has just kind of skyrocketed in value is the Sorcerer Mickey profile. 
I actually came across quite a number when looking through this list that have sold for, you know, either in the 900 range or the high 800 range. This one went for over $1,200. This is a super beautiful pin. And it is kind of cool to see a Mickey Mouse pin so high on this list because a lot of times Mickey isn't super highly desired, but he's really shining in this pin. Next, selling for $1,500, we have another Disney Soda Fountain Marquee, and that is the Up Marquee. This particular El Capitan Marquee pin is only a limited edition of 150, and this pin is also quite fitting because Up has just celebrated its 10th anniversary. Another pin selling for $1,500 is this beautiful Bell Disney Auctions pin. This is another Disney Auction Ellie of 100 pin. This is kind of in a Nouveau style. And again, because Belle is such, you know, a top tier princess, her very rare pins can sell for quite a lot. We do have one final WDI profile on this list. So this is currently the most expensive WDI profile, and that is the Ariel pin selling for $1,500. It always seems like there's kind of like a tug and pull between Ariel and Belle and then maybe Rapunzel for which is the most popular princess, but Ariel pins truly do seem to be the priciest. So her profile is selling for more than any of the others. $1,500 is pretty crazy when you consider the retail value of these pins, which is closer to $20. We are now gonna move on to our very top number one most expensive pin that has somewhere recently sold on eBay. And that is this Alice in Wonderland Elizabeth Gomes Disney Auctions pin. This pin sold for $2,499.95. This is another Disney Auctions LE100 pin, but this is from the design series by Elizabeth Gomes. All of the Gomes pins are really among the top tier most desired Disney auctions pin. Alice in Wonderland definitely is quite popular to collect. So Disney auction pins, which were released, you know, around the mid 2000s, a lot of them really have held their value for a long time, which I think kind of solidifies them as like true expensive pins. So hopefully that was kind of fun to look over and see the most expensive pins that have currently sold on eBay. That is a lot of money to spend on pins. I know a lot of people wouldn't ever consider spending that much money on pins, but at this point, it's almost like they cease to become pins and then they are just like super high grade collectibles. But do keep in mind, pin values are kind of totally arbitrary. They can change a lot over time. If you look back on my channel to one of my very early videos, I did a little video showing the two WDI profile pins I got. They're two villain pins. And I've talked about before, I got each of them for around $30 to $35. They were among the less popular villains, but you know, even the most popular ones, they were still selling at attainable prices, but now those pins are just selling for hundreds of dollars. And I'll be really interested to see if these WDI profiles can hold their value over time like these LE100 Disney Auctions pins can. I feel like every fantasy pin designer now has created their own type of profile pin where the market almost feels a little bit saturated with them. So I wonder if we're now kind of like at a peak height of WDI profile pin prices. It would be nice if they do start to go down because they are super nice pins and it would be nicer if they're maybe a little bit more attainable. But right now, if you're looking to get any of these pins on this list, you'll probably be having to spend a lot of money. But thanks for watching.